Hey guys, so this weekend I uh, bought a telescope. So I'm just gonna open it up. Oh. Don't cut like I do, cut away from you. So I wanted to take some pictures of the moon. Uh, what is it? Uh, went on a night hike and it was pretty scary. But I thought it'd be fun to go back out to like Joshua Tree or something when it opens. So. Alright, so this is the uh, telescope I got. Um, got it off of Costco. It was like 150 bucks, something like that. Uh, main reason I got it was because it had like a smartphone adapter. Uh, I'm new to telescopes, I have no idea if it's good or not. Um, but from one of the reviews I read, it was pretty standard for a good beginner, uh, especially for the price. So, just opening it up. So, the first part it tells you like what's in the box um, and how to set it up and do everything with the little red light finder scope. Uh, it comes with like a little app too to help you. Yeah. And I think I'll put a link in the thing for if you guys want to check it out and get your own. Uh, I think you have to be a member of Costco, but I don't know. Usually you just ask your parents or something. I'm pretty sure they can set you up. Some some documents. So it's all pretty standard stuff, I'm pretty sure. Like nothing crazy or anything. But, um, ugh. main reason I wanted to get a telescope was because I saw some kid that makes them, and I was like, whoa, I want to do that. I follow him on Instagram. Um, I'll put a link for him too because he knows a lot about telescopes. He's crazy. Cool. So you get the red light with the battery too, which is nice. Um, I believe this is a viewing lens. And then there's two different lenses or so that's, yeah. It's on the other side. The smartphone adapter and then a couple other like clean cloths and batteries and whatnot. Which is good because I saw some of them don't come with extra viewing focal points. So this one had two of them, so I figured that'd be good. I believe this is the actual telescope itself. So you can see like the size. Oh no, this is just the uh, stand. So, I mean, it looks really nice. It's very sturdy. Um, made out of metal. Let's see. Uh, it's a tripod. So, I want to have like little uh, cubby holes to hold everything. Um, pretty sure it raises. Figure it out though. Put that right there. Put it inside. So then this would be the actual crown jewel. The scope itself. This. 
only thing that doesn't come with is a carrying case, but um, there's enough plastic here that I'm pretty sure I could carry it in that or just put it back in the box. Here it is. It's the uh, Inspiron 90AZ. I have no idea what that is. Uh, it says don't point it at the sun, so I won't do that. So connecting it. Pretty sure there's instructions for this. Um, I don't know why I'm being lazy and not wanting to look at them. But uh, Pretty sure. Hopefully. Uh, well, actually, I could just look at the pictures, I guess. Oh, there's another piece to it. Oh, this is the cover, the way. So those are those pieces. So Sky Portal app. Some oh shoot. Picture. So assembling, remove the tripod for the mount. And the mount from the box, loosen the hard knobs on the, each leg to extend the legs. Turn the accessory tray inside and turn it clockwise. To attach the telescope blows tube to your tripod to the mount. So yeah, it does slide that in. So this slides in right here. sense to me. So like that. Put the uh, cover on for now. So pretty easy setup. Um, next thing would be the uh, the eyepieces and everything. Uh, I'm not gonna put that on right now because uh, well the sun's out obviously, and uh, I have to look through the instructions and make sure I do it right. <laughs> but uh, yeah, for $150, um, it looks pretty good. Like I said, I'll make another video of uh, taking it out at night. Um, and then hopefully I'll get some pictures and footage of the, uh, the stars and whatnot. But uh, yeah, other than that, this is the Inspiron 90AZ. Got it off of Costco for like 150 bucks. So yeah. <laughs>